Welcome to the generator training for buildings 1912 and 1901. This is generator site 1901 and I am Airman Bradshaw from CE Power Production. Alright so we're here at building 1901 for the, at the generator site and the first thing you do when you come around to this generator site will be to take off all jewelry such as necklaces, rings and watches such as this and put them in your pocket so nothing gets caught on the generator because it's, mach it's machinery and it's automatic so it could start up at any time. And so the first thing you're going to do is look around the generator on the bottom to see if there's any leaking from such as filters or anything around the block that looks like it would cause a problem in startup and if there's something serious then contact us, don't start it if it looks like something is really wrong with the generator. So for the pre-operational inspection, the first thing you're going to do is check the oil and coolant. The oil dipstick is located on the bottom of the engine, so you pull it out and check the level of the oil on the side. There will be a high, an H for high and an L for low. All you want is just to make sure the level is anywhere in between there. And once you check the oil, you can move on to check the coolant. The coolant cap is located at the top of the radiator on the end of the engine. So you have to step up on the side to view the cap from the top of it so you can see the level on the inside. So you can go ahead and climb up to the top. A thing to remember when checking the coolant though is to make sure that the engine has not been running. So if you can see on the inside of the engine and you can feel the heat from the engine or know that it's been started recently don't check the coolant because when the engine is hot it causes pressure inside the radiator and the coolant will come up the top of the radiator and so never check the uh, coolant when it's hot that's only when the engine is cold this unlocks right here by just twisting you can take that cap off set that there and then visually look down into the radiator to see the level and as long as it's within two inches of the top of the of the neck of the radiator then it's satisfactory and then you can the final thing will be to check the fuel level and as you can see right now it's at about three quarters of the way full as long as it's not on empty it'll be alright for startup alright this is the control panel for the uh, generator and the main buttons you'll need to know here are the colored ones here the red one is to stop the engine or put it in the stop position. The yellow one is to put it in automatic mode for automatic operation and startup. And the green button is for the startup of the generator. Also, there's one more. So if the generator starts up and shuts down for a fault and you want to try to restart it, this is the reset button right here with the triangle with on the middle button right here. You'll press that button to reset it. And that will reset all the faults. So you go ahead and do that first. And then to start the engine, just to make sure that it's out of auto, you put it in the you press the red button to keep it in the stop position. And then you'll you'll press the green button and it'll start up automatically. So at any time when you're around this generator, it may or may not start up. So there's a safety feature called the emergency stop button or these red buttons. There's one located here on the control panel and there's one on the outside of the generator over here. And at any time if there's someone around here or there's emergency like an oil leakage from the generator and you need the generator to stop quickly, all you have to do is come here and press one of these red emergency stops button either on the outside or the inside of the control panel and that will shut off the generator. Alright, so at we're at 1901 PL01. There's the book here for the generator has all the pre-optional inspections and this is before if the generator is actually running but the building does not have power or the pumps are not on. So this is the switch for the generator to switch from commercial power to generator power. And as you can see here, it's labeled generator changeover switch panel. On this side is the uh, this Allen key will be located here. So you'll go ahead and take this cover off and then you'll stick the Allen key inside here 
in order to switch over from in this position here is in commercial power labeled one and when it's at zero and the 12 o'clock position it will be off and on when it's on the two right here that'll be your generator power so there'll be a little line on the center silver piece and you line that up with number two so you just have two clicks over to change it to generator power All right, so after it's switched over or after any power outage, this building is designed to need to be reset. And if you come over here, this green button right here, it's even labeled reset button. And whenever this building loses power, either commercial or generator power, or say you switch it to generator power and the lights are not on and the power is off, that's because you need to reset it. So all you do is come over here just press the green button and then it should kick everything on and power should come to this building if it's available at the switching center. All right, this is the main switch for the generator power. And if this is in the horizontal position, that means it's on as of right now. And if for some reason it's in the vertical position, that would mean that it's off. So if you're ever here and need generator power, but this switch is in the vertical position, you just come here and switch it over to the horizontal position to turn that on and then you'll have power. I'm Sergeant Antonson from Power Production Shop in CE. Welcome to the generator training video for building 1912. This generator site is designed to be run manually. So first thing you're going to want to do is look around and inspect the generator underneath and also on the engine and uh, you're going to want to look for any leaks or any obvious hazards. When you do this, you're going to want to remove watches, rings, and shiny things just for safety. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my watch and my ring. And before you start the generator, you're going to want to go ahead and get some hearing protection such as these. Okay, so you've gone through You've already looked for any leaks, any obvious hazards. You're going to want to check the oil. Now the dipstick is located right here. Okay, as you can see here on the oil dipstick, there's a stop position and an operating position. The oil is, needs to be checked only in the stop position. Otherwise, you won't get an accurate reading. And the last thing you're going to want to do before you start the generator set, make sure that you only do this only when it's cold or only when the generator has not been running. If the generator has been running, this is a no-no. So you're gonna to wanna to check the coolant level. You wanna do that by taking the cap off and then actually physically looking down inside the unit and you'll be able to see the coolant level just above the top of the, the cooling fins inside. So you'll be able to see the coolant level there. Put the cap back on, make sure you tighten it down all the way and now we're good to go. All right, one of the safety features of our generator system is the generator circuit breaker. This is also a safety valve for our generator set in case of an emergency or in case there's any kind of malfunction in the system. What will happen is, this is in the on position right now, this will trip and it'll go into the middle here. It won't be an off or on, it'll be in what's known as the tripped position. In that case, you'll know that there's a malfunction. So you need to go ahead and push this to the off position and then if, if there's some type of malfunction that was not serious, then you can go ahead and put it back into the on position and try again. As we move around here, you'll notice that there are generator operating instructions that are located right on top of the control uh, unit. And these are a step-by-step -step instruction, uh, hearing protection required as I reviewed earlier, remove all jewelry as I went over earlier, be careful around moving parts and use your common sense. There's a pre-operational inspection section here, placing facility on generator power, the transfer back to commercial power, and in the case that this uh, generator set needs to be shut down in an emergency situation. And I'll go over that in just a moment. Now, after uh, you do the pre-operational inspection that I already described and showed to you, you're gonna come over and start the unit. And to start the unit, you turn this key. There's a little hand here. 
It's in the off position at the moment. You turn the key to the hand, which is for manual operation. Then you're going to press this green button here, and you're going to hold it. And the generator is going to start, and you're going to hold that until the oil pressure comes up outside of the red marks here. Okay, once <clears throat> you're holding the green button, and this uh, oil pressure gets outside of the red markings, then you'll be good to go and the generator will stay running. If in the case of emergency, you need to stop the generator quickly, uh, and if there is some type of, uh, usually it's an oil leak or a coolant leak, the coolant will be green, the oil should be a tan color. That's how you'll know the difference between those two. Or in the case of a fuel leak, uh, you'll be able to smell the diesel, you'll see the, the diesel fuel coming out of uh, this tank here on the bottom. You'll want to go ahead and focus on this red button, emergency stop. In the case of emergency, uh, such as those leaks, you can press this button in and it will stop the generator immediately. Now that the generator set is running, as you can hear, we're going to go to the final step, which is transferring to generator power. What you want to do is refer to the instructions here which are the step-by-step -step for transferring this facility to, to generator power. I'm going to go ahead and take this switch from the horizontal to the vertical position. This is the main incomer. We're going to remove this key here. Take it up, place it up top into the generator incomer. Turn the key to the right and turn this switch to the horizontal position. As you can see, the lights have come back on and you're now on generator power. Thank you for getting educated with our generator training video. If you have any questions or concerns about this generator training, please feel free to contact CE Power Pro at 226-3552.